Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our vocabulary. We have been learning few new words every day for the last 64 days, and today is our lesson number 65. Let's see what we have for. Let's see have uh, in store for today. There are two, uh, rather three or four words that I want to start out with. And all of these words actually mean something horrible, something disastrous, something terrible that has happened. And they all, as I said, re related to each other. Let's start with the very first one, which is... As I said, they are all noun. They all mean disaster or horrible thing or a news of something that's terrible thing is going to happen. But they all relate to each other and that's what they mean. Apocalypse. What is an apocalypse? An apocalypse is something that is a grand revolution. A grand Revolution. It's the news of something that is about to happen, something monumental, something uh, something disastrous, something horrible. It's about to happen and the news of that is called apocalypse. It's a prophetic this apocalypse is a is a prophetic disclosure. And of course, the word prophetic comes from the word prophecy. You're making a, you're making a prediction. You're foretelling something, something about to happen, something disastrous, something horrible, and such a such a such a declaration, such a news of some future event that is going to happen that is horrible, disastrous, terrible. Such a news is said to be an apocalypse. An adjective would be an apocalypse. As we say as a noun, adjective would be. Apocalyptic. Also, also apocalyptical. Apocalyptical is also an acceptable form of the adjective of the word apocalypse. Apocalyptical, apocalyptic. Let's move on then. The next word we're going to learn, which uh, the next word that we're going to learn me, uh, is something that means a huge disaster, a huge disaster, a devastating flood, a flood of monumental proportion. Not just an ordinary flood, a flood that uh, does not happen uh, uh, very often. The word is cataclysm. Cataclysm. Cat a cataclysm. It's a noun. A cataclysm, as we, as we said, is a huge disaster. A huge disaster. It is a catastrophe. It is a devastating flood. A devastating flood, not just an ordinary or uh, ordinary old flood that you get. But some uh, a flood, as I said, of some uh, of monumental proportion, would said to be a 
cataclysmic one, a cataclysm. And such a flood is also called a deluge, which we'll learn in a second. A deluge, which is the word, which is the word that we want to learn next. A deluge is a huge flood. It's a, it's a big flood. Let's learn it. Then. That's it. We are done with the word cataclysm. Deluge is pronounced as you can see it has a it has a Y sound in it. Deluge. Deluge is a great flood. A great flood. Or as I've been saying, a flood of monumental proportion. Proportions. Now here's the thing. This word deluge can be used literally, literally to mean a huge, monumental, catastrophic uh, flood, or it could be used figuratively. For example, metaphorically, that is, one can use, for example, metaphorically. Metaf metaphorically, one could say, one can use it as a metaphorical. Uh, metaphorically, something it means simply means something that is, something that is overwhelming. Something that is overwhelming. One can speak of a, one can speak of a deluge of complaints. They had so many complaints. They felt that they had so many complaints as if they were. They felt as if they were flooded by them. Deluge of complaint. Here we are using the word metaphorically, not in a literal sense, but in a metaphorical sense. One can speak of a deluge of. One can speak of a deluge of uh, bills. Bills keep coming. They never stop. And if you have too many of them at, the, at once, one can speak of deluge of bills. I have deluge of bills that I have to uh, confront with, that I have to pay, that I have to deal with. One can speak of a deluge of junk mail. It just keeps coming. The damn thing never stops. And here we are using the word metaphorically, deluge. Let's learn one more word. Calamity. What's a calamity? A calamity is a huge disaster. Resulting in a huge disaster that results in horrible losses and terrible suffering an occurrence that causes incredible losses, unbelievable, unbelievable losses and horrible, horrendous suffering is said to be a calamity. Do you understand? That's it. I was going to go on to the next page and learn to do a so few more words here and I think I'm going to stop here right now. Let's, let's keep a few at a time, okay? I'll see you tomorrow and tomorrow we'll learn, I have on the list here on the next page Four words. I want to stop right now because the next four words that I have in the list are completely unrelated to the three or four words that we just dealt with. 
they completely unrelated uh, with these words and also they have no relationship among themselves they are just three four random four four words that are there and i want to cover them separately tomorrow okay i'll see you tomorrow on day number 66 bye now